here in the sand pit, this is an older image when we had some machinery out there, but if I tap on the screen, it's going to enter in, or I can stretch this out. And it says now tap to make the capture area. This is the area that the drone is actually going to capture the photos from. So when I click OK, down on the bottom here, you see use fly in the safe area. We could use the entire area, or we could customize it to get just a, maybe we wanted to go around a portion of it. Now notice as I stretch this, it optimizes the flight plan. So what you notice up here at the top is the amount of acres that we're going to fly, the data size right now of the file, and then how long the drone is going to be in the air. So let's just use flyable area. We'll click next. Now it says how high do we want to fly this drone? Uh, if this thing can get survey grade accuracy, we're, we're, we're going to sure see if it can, okay? So typically we fly about 100 feet. Now our data file is going to be a little bit larger, but that's, what, that's okay because we're, we're not sacrificing the vertical accuracy. Most guys that are out in the field, they're going to fly probably around a 200 to 250 foot flight. So I'm going to stretch this down. We're going to go to 100 feet. Now notice when I brought that down, it showed you the data size of the file. It shows you the acreage and how long the drone is going to be in this. In so we're going to click next. And then it says image height. So this is the overlap of the passes when the drone makes the uh, um, pass back and forth. And it's also the ceiling height. So if we didn't want to capture anything above a certain height or below a certain height, we could, we could set that here. So right now I'm just going to stretch it down to anything above 50 feet high, down to zero. Click done, we've just planned our flight. Okay? So now we would connect to the drone, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that outside when Mike actually is going to fly the drone.